being honored by Ultimate Hockey's and Skate and Shadow Sports Collectibles for being the Warriors Player of the Month for December 2013. Secondly, goaltender number 30, Andy Desatel, led the BCHL in December and was named the BCHL Player of the Month. Would both players please come to center ice to accept gifts from our sponsors? Anholt swooping wide to the left. Anholt in front for Dolman. It goes off Gardner and in. First blood to the Warriors, two minutes in. Pucks go off defensemen on bounces. There's unassisted goals. Here's another Warrior goal. Ivy from the right point. Seb Lloyd in front, but I don't think he touched it. Another chance for the Warriors. Rister from Dolman snagged by Day Field there. So the goal was Lloyd from Ivy. Here's Ryan Fraser Lee with a shot from the right point. Puck comes in front, another for the Warriors. David Pope with the side of the net picks up the ricochet and goes roof. A couple months ago, Cannon with a drive. Hot shot, it's stopped by Desitel. His first real stiff test of the game. Walking into the slot to the line for Panzeris with a drive blocked. Hessler backhander, two shots. Masters digging away as well and getting worked over by Zach Hodder. But the whistle is blown as the puck was found in the scramble. Broken up, Mackin receives a breakaway pass. And he's checked by Adam Plant. What a comeback from Plant there, chasing his man down. Power play is over, Saunders is out. And there's a goal, Ryan Fraser Lee from the right point. His first as a Warrior. Four nothing, West Kelowna. Heading back into the Warrior zone. Centering pass, gets to Rockwood, Biega scores. Stopped by Desitel once, but he bangs in his rebound. And out comes Coquitlam, Cannon Peeper through center. These Peeper brothers out of Roseville, Minnesota. What a goal from Cannon Peeper! Hooked, and as he falls, he plays it past Desitel and bouncing puck, and the Warriors will scurry ahead. Osheski to Lloyd. Lloyd drop pass, Braden Pears posted in! First as a warrior for Braden Pears. It's 5-2 West Kelowna. And Warriors have made a goalie change. Thank you, Matt Overby, for noticing. And I did notice that Andy Desitel was laboring a little bit when he skated off after the second period as the horn sounded. And some kind of lower body injury to Andy Desitel. So Porter is in net. Press can't clear it out though. It's gloved down by Reed Simmons. Into the corner for Osheski. Plant is in front, but Osheski scores from the corner. Through Day Feel. Stops up, buys time. Rosenthal, good pass. Cannon Bieber stopped by Cody Porter. He was a mile out of his net. Made that save from Vancouver. Pulling, trying to rag the puck for a while. Liam Blackburn knows the score as well. Hessler gets a new twig, races back into Coquitlam Ice, and Blackburn's got it. Looking in front for Hessler. Pope is the one who scores. Second of the night, fifth in his past three games from David Pope. And the Warriors lead 7-2. So, Rallon, you can single them out individually if you want or talk them out as a group. How did you feel about your three newcomers tonight? Well, I thought they are all pretty good. Obviously, uh, Braden Paris comes in, and, I mean, you know, we've, we've watched him enough, so you know exactly what you're getting there. He's an uh, excellent two-way defenseman. Fraser Lee didn't really remember him, so um, but seen a physical, tough, shutdown guy, plays simple. And, you know, I think what people have to remember is he hasn't played in a long time. Yeah. You know, um, and obviously Nathan Kraft, just an up-and-down winger who's going to play hard and uh, going to play physical. So I think they all uh, came as, as advertised. You were forced to make some changes on the fly. Uh, Andy Desitel couldn't finish the game. He was replaced after 40 minutes, and Jordan Masters didn't finish either. Do you have an update on either of those two for me? Uh, I don't, actually. Um, I seen Jordan laying on the table in there. I don't know exactly what's wrong, and I haven't been able to talk to, to Mike about Desi yet. So, um, And I know Hoper you know, left the game, obviously, today. He's got upper body uh, injury, so I, I don't know the updates on those other young men yet. Maybe just we'll finish with your general thoughts on what allowed you to kind of take Coquitlam apart 7-2 tonight. Well, I thought we played a pretty structured game tonight, to be perfectly honest with you. And, you know, we only gave them two against, which was, you know, which was, uh, which was good. I thought we limited a lot of stuff through the neutral zone. Though, and I, I thought our kids did a good job there. I mean, it's, uh, you know, that's a fast team you're playing, and uh, they can really scoot. And they've got some, they've, <laughs> they've got some huge skill over there. So, you know, we talked about trying to shut down that top line, of course. And I thought our kids did a good job. Appreciate your time. My pleasure. Brayden, your reaction to the trade that brought you here. 
I'm really be happy to be here in uh, Kelowna. We got a really good team, and uh, you know we had a good game tonight. And uh, no, just really happy to meet all the guys and be here on a really good team. So. You're paired with Ryan Fraser, Leo on the back end to start this game. Two kind of newcomers. What was your plan of attack? Um, plan of attack, like we're both new, obviously, and uh, we're both older guys in the league. I mean, we're just trying to keep it simple for the most part, and uh, you know, just 